Hi, it's Juliet, soulmasteryschool.com. I wanted to talk to you today about how do you address the monkey mind? How do you rein it in? How, did you, how do you bring your mental body back to where you are in charge, where you're the director of your ship, not the thoughts? Really important to harness one's mind and bring it into your command, your directorship, rather than you being at the mercy of your crazy thoughts or the monkey mind. It becomes a systemic condition that can run people ragged, wear people out, and you end up being becoming very distracted and not achieving or getting on with anything that your heart really is wanting you to focus on. So then there is a factor there of a requirement, a necessary requirement, if you want to get a handle of this monkey mind where you need to harness and strengthen the spiritual muscle of the mental body. And how do you do that? Well, you discipline it. You get convicted. You become determined about uh, what you want to focus on and think about. And that sounds really easy at a matter of fact level but actually when you go to try that out if you haven't been actively working on that it can be quite a conscious task <laughs> that can be very trying so I do have various tools I can offer you one right now which is a free giveaway um, I can walk you through it right now if you like you can just occupying the mind with activities that you want to focus on and you keep overriding your mind with your focus and you can create some exercises just like going to the gym to work out and strengthen various particular muscles same thing with these mental exercises I mean you can work the crossword and so forth forth but it's not quite the same as what I'm directing you towards so the I do have it as a YouTube link if you want that link just email me at Juliet at soulmasteryschool.com if you want the a total 15 minute meditation but I can walk you through it right now in essence with your eyes closed calling up your north south east west of your brain your mental body right between the eyes all the way to the back of your head both sides divide it by four pinpoint the centermost point of your brain see it as part of uh, the base of the spine to the tip of your head so that's the chakra column the spinal column and then then having it extend through to the seventh chakra here but we're addressing the sixth chakra here at the point of the eye and seeing that you know, about yay big, the size slightly bigger than a ping pong ball, the space of that chakra column passage. And now placing a ping pong ball in your mind's eye at that centermost point and just balancing it there. Let it hover. Let it hang out. And the only way it's going to hang out there is if you focus on it. You hold it there. How long can you hold it there? And sit with that. That's, that's the work. So give it a go. See if you can build it up to five minutes, ten minutes, without getting distracted when, when your mind wanders off onto some shopping list or thing to do. Come back to that ping pong ball that may have slid off into the corner of your mind. Grab it, put it back. It's just an exercise of holding your thoughts the same effect really as a mantra as looking at a candle flame you can even try that if you like look at a candle flame for about a minute let that impression of the profile of the flame to burn into your third eye now close your eyes let that impression be right there in your third eye behind the screen of your closed eyes 
and just see how long you can stare at that. It will ultimately disappear, so then open your eyes when it does. Burn that impress impression of the candle flame back into your consciousness. Close your eyes. Simple exercise. It may seem boring. Of course, your mind will talk yourself into that. <laughs> That's another trick of the monkey mind. Got to wa watch out for all the tricks. There's a million and one of them. And if you want to master the ego and be free and get on with what you truly want to follow through with in life, disciplining the mind is the way to go. So there we are, a little lesson for today. Have a good one. Aloha.